Hello, yoga friends, friends. <laughs> My name is Kat and I'm here with Empower Yoga to bring you an Empower One Vinyasa Flow. I can't wait to do this with you. You just need yourself and your mat. Rest anytime you need, get water. Let's move, let's begin. <laughs> okay, yogis, let's begin by getting centered. You can come to a really comfortable seated position. Maybe your legs are crossed or option to sit on your heels. You can place your hands wherever it is comfortable and close your eyes, let your eyelids become heavy. Option to place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Bring your attention to your breath. And take a brief moment to set your intention. Just remind yourself why you chose to come to your mat. Try to keep your breath strong throughout the whole practice. Anytime you need to rest, you can come to child's pose or down dog. And of course, get water anytime you need it. And gently open your eyes. Let's begin. Come on into a tabletop position. I'll meet you on all fours, your knees under your hips, hands right under your shoulders. And we're gonna start with some cat cows to wake up your spine. So with an exhale, round your spine, press the floor away, tuck your chin to your chest, really empty out any stale air in your lungs. Inhale, let your belly start to soften as you gaze up towards the sky, big breath in. We'll take that four more times with your breath. We exhale, round. Inhale, drop your belly, gaze up. Breathe, stay with it. Last two right here. You can come into a nice tabletop position on your final round. Beautiful. We're going to start right away waking up your core, your center of power and stamina and strength. Anchor into your palms, extend your right leg straight back behind you. Flex your toes towards your mat. Good. So pull your belly in and up. Really feel that awakeness, that engagement in your center. Take a big full breath in. You can keep both hands planted or extend your left arm. Already getting a nice balance challenge. Big breath in. Exhale, bring your knee to your elbow, crunch. We have four more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, contract. Last three. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it in. Your modification is to keep both hands planted. Last two. Final round. Nice. Come back into tabletop. We're going to revisit those five cat cows. So we exhale round. Inhale, drop your belly, look up. Here we go for four. Feel the music. Let your breath be part of your soundtrack. Smile and enjoy. Last two cat cows and we'll come back into tabletop. There we go, friends. Anchor in with both palms. This time extend your left leg straight out behind you, toes flexing down towards your mat. Anchor in, option to extend your opposite arm long. We have five elbow to knees. Exhale, bring it in. Feel the crunch in your center. Inhale, expand. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach. You can try to keep your weight towards the inside of your left palm for a little bit more stability. Maybe curl your back toe under as well. Last round here. Nice, come back to tabletop. Curl both toes under, take a big belly breath in. Exhale and lift your hips up high to the sky. Our first down dog of our practice. You can take a moment to really press the floor away from you. For your first down dog, your heels might be lifted. You can even bend your knees. Maybe even take your feet a little wider apart for more balance. 
You can pedal out your heels, wag your tail from left to right. Find any natural movement that feels good and let your head hang super heavy, maybe even shake it. Yes and no, gently side to side, breathe. Nice, gently gaze towards the top of your mat and step your right foot forward, then your left for hanging forward fold. Your feet are about hip distance apart, maybe a little closer. You can bend your knees so your belly rests on the top of your thighs. Allow the top of your head to be really heavy. Nice, you can let your hands rest on your mat or reach for opposite elbows and sway a bit side to side. Breathe, breathe. Come back to a stillness. You can extend your arms out to your sides just like their wings. Gaze up, inhale, rise up, mountain pose. Mountain pose, we inhale, reach your arms high overhead. Gaze up towards your pinky fingers, full inhale. Exhale, take a baby back bend. Bend your shoulders, feel your heart open. Exhale. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward, forward fold. On your inhale, look up and lift up halfway. You can place your palms on your shins, lengthen to the crown of your neck, get some space and some length in your spine. Exhale, release, pull forward. Spread your wings out to the sides and inhale, come up to a stand. Exhale, hands to your center. Inhale, reach, lift up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, if you're scooping up the sunshine, big breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up and lift up halfway. Exhale, melt. Spread your wings to your sides and inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to your center. Final round, inhale, reach. Exhale, take your baby back bend, best back bend yet. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look and lift halfway. Exhale, fold. You can plant your palms, take a walk to the top of your mat with your palms. And we'll come into plank pose. Your modification here is to come to your knees now or anytime throughout the practice as you need to. If you're in plank, we're pressing through our heels, reaching through the crown of your head really pressing your mat away feel your belly start to fire up and engage breathe we hold for three full breaths we got this nice take a big breath in and on your exhale lift your hips for down dog Really press into both of your palms and on your in-breath sweep your right heel high, three-legged dog. Point your toes down towards your mat. You can stay right here or option to bend your right knee, allow your right hip to open to your side. Keep pressing through your right palm. And inhale, sweep your right heel back to the sky, three-legged dog. On your exhale, gaze forward, bring your knee towards your chest and step your right foot between your palms. Drop your back knee. For layer one, we stay right here, palms grounded. Layer two, maybe you can come up to your knee, lengthen through your crown, and enjoy that sink and stretch into your left hip flexor. Final layer, option two, sweep your arms overhead and exhale, bring your fingertips behind your head, Ooh, open up through your chest, breathe, let it feel good. Inhale, reach to the ceiling. 
Exhale, point your palms. You can lift your back knee, step your front foot back to plank. We hold here for three breaths. Your exhale, engage your center as you lift your hips high, down, dog. And we'll take it to your other side. Inhale, sweep your left heel high, three-legged dog. You stay and breathe here or bend your left knee. Allow your left hip this time to open out, yawning everything open. Inhale, three-legged dog. On your exhale, bring your left knee through your center, plant your left foot between your palms, drop your back knee to your mat. Find that same variation you had on your first side. Option again to inhale, reach, and exhale, elbows wide, little gentle back bend, open up. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, plant your palms, lift your back knee. This time, step your back foot to the top of your mat, forward fold. Good, drop your hips and bring your arms parallel, weight towards your heels. You can keep your arms reaching forward, maybe bring your hands to your, to your center. We hold in chair, firing up through your low body, stay with it. And inhale, rise, come up to stand. Exhale, hands to center. You can take a breath or two here in Mountain Pose. Come back to that intention you set at the start of your practice. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up high, mountain, reach tall. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, melt forward. Inhale, lift halfway. On your exhale, step your right foot way back. We're coming into crescent lunge. Keep your back heel lifted. Anchor in through both feet. And on an inhale, sweep both of your fingertips towards the sky. Nice, you can keep your back heel lifted, really anchoring in through your front foot, you can find a little bit of a bend in your back knee. But we're gonna hold it here for three good solid breaths. We may be still, but we are certainly getting stronger, building stamina in the stillness. Hold it, breathe, breathe. On your exhale, plant your palms to the mat, step your front foot back, come to plank pose, hold it for three, two, one, exhale, down dog. Gaze towards the top of your mat, this time step your left foot forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Beautiful, breathe, breathe. Almost there, big breath in. Exhale, plant your palms, step your front foot back to plank. We hold it here and I'll see you in down dog in three. Take a big full inhale, two, one. Exhale, lift your hips down dog. Wag your tail, breathe a lot. Get to the top of your mat, step one foot forward, then the other forward fold. Drop your hips and come on back to chair. Beautiful, still pressing through your heels. Maybe even lift all 10 toes off of your mat. Ooh, stay with it. We inhale in three, two, one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to center. Let's do it again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus your arms. 
Inhale, touch the ceiling. Exhale, hinge and melt forward. Inhale, look up, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, step your right leg way back. Anchor in, inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Find your balance. You can step one foot a little wider to the side if you need more stability. And in this round, we're gonna pulse our back knee for a total of five times. Take a big breath to prepare. Exhale, start to bend your back knee just until it hovers right above your mat. Inhale, extend. Four more times with control. Stay breathing, keep your focus and your gaze steady. We have two more yogis. Really nice. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, anchor your palms to your mat. Set your front foot back for plank. Embrace the heat. Embrace any shaking that is you getting stronger. Exhale, lift your hips down, dog. Gaze forward. This time, step your right foot to the top of your mat. Keep your left heel lifted. Inhale for crescent lunge. There it is. <laughs> Once you have found your steadiness in crescent, get ready to pulse for five. We bend our back knee, hover just above the mat. Inhale, extend. Four more, here we go. Breathe, smile. Final two pulses here. Take a big breath in. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your back foot to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Drop your hips for chair. Arms where it is comfortable. We hold. Hello, thighs. <laughs> Inhale, reach mountain pose. Exhale, hands to center. Stay with it. Big breath in, reach tall. Exhale, cactus your arms, back bend. Inhale, scoop up the sunlight. Exhale, melt forward. On your inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, step your left leg back. Back heel lifted. Root down and on your next breath in, crescent lunge. Nice, doing your best to keep that nice 90 degree angle in your front leg. We get ready to pulse for five. Already sweating a little bit here. <laughs> here we go, friends. We have three, two, one. Hold it. We're going to add one more layer. Anchor in to your front foot. On your inhale, we lift our left knee, floating it off the mat, coming to 90 degrees. Exhale, step it back. Can we do four? I think we can. Total of five right here. Can move slowly with control. If you lose your balance or fall out of the pose, no worries, you just come back in when you are ready. Final round right here. Hold your knee at the top. Lower your left knee to the mat. Mountain pose. Let's do it on your other side. Big inhale, fill up with energy. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, reach for the sun. Exhale, belt forward. Inhale, lift up, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, plant your palms, step your right leg way back, heel stays lifted. Really root down. Inhale, crescent lunge. Feel your roots anchoring you into your mat, find that stability. 
We have five pulses. Lower hovering just above the mat. And we inhale. Good, stay with it, stay breathing. We have three more. Nice, get ready to lift your back knee, anchor into your front foot. Lifting your front knee to 90 degrees. Exhale, step it back, crescent. We have three more. If you notice you want to start to bring some arm movement into this, by all means, feel free. Good, hold it here at the top. Lower your bottom, your top foot to the floor, mountain pose. Come back to your breath. Yogis, we get to put that all together. Let's do it. <laughs> Inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach for the sun. Exhale, melt and hinge forward. Put your breath in, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, step your left foot back, crescent lunge. Inhale, reach to the sky. So we alternate between a pulse and they knee to 90 degrees. Exhale as you lower and hover above the mat. Inhale, anchor into your front foot. Bring your back knee up to 90 degrees. Good, step it back. Anchor in, lower and hover. Beautiful, and we lift. Try to have fun with it, building strength. Balance, focus, and coordination. Two more rounds. Keep your top knee lifted. Lower your top knee to the mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to center. Woo, other side, here we go. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, reach to your ceiling, and exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, step your right leg way back. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Find your balance, anchor in, and we alternate between that pulse and the knee lift. Here we go. Lower your back knee. Anchor into your front foot, lift your right knee to 90 degrees. Good, total of five rounds, we pulse and lift. Inhale, pulse, exhale, lift. Final two, yes you can. Final rounds here, we hold your right knee at the top. Plant your foot to the mat, inhale, scoop up and reach up. Exhale, hands to your center. Come back to your breath. Now that your heart is beating and your blood is flowing, let's try a warrior series. Let's have fun, breathe a lot, and let's move. Inhale, reach. This time, simply exhale, hands through your center, fold and hinge forward. With your inhale, lengthen, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, step your feet back into plank. Remember, you can always come to your knees. So rather than giving up, consider modifying. Try to stay with it. Good. We're going to make our way to down dog in three. Take a big full breath in. Two. One. Exhale. Lift your hips. Down dog. You can always rest here as well and join back in when you are ready. On your inhale, sweep your right heel to the sky. Three-legged dog. Exhale. Take warrior one. Plant your right foot between your palms. Drop your back heel. Your back foot is at about 45 degrees. 
Anchor in and inhale, rise up. So we're going for about 90 degrees in your front leg. Your back leg is long, steady, and strong. Hold it here. Feel your roots anchoring you. Maybe grow a little bit taller and longer with every breath in. On your exhale, let your breath move you to warrior two. Pivoting your back foot to be parallel with the back of your mat. Extend your arms parallel to the floor. Stay really true in that bend with your front knee. Option to gaze over your front fingertips. Feel your strength, your focus, breathe. We hold for two more breaths. Nice, with your inhale, extend and straighten your front knee. Inhale, drop your back hand and reach up, lift up with your right fingertips. Try to graze the clouds with your fingers. Exhale, come back to warrior two, bend your front knee. Hold it here for three, two, take a breath in, one. Exhale, windmill, plant your palms to the floor. Step your front foot back to plank or tabletop. Find that straight, long line of energy. Coming back to down dog in three, two, one. Exhale, lift your hips. On your next breath in, sweep your left heel high, three-legged dog. Exhale, coming into warrior one, plant your left foot between your palms. Drop your back heel. Anchor in, inhale, rise up. Beautiful, it's okay to find a little bit of movement as you settle into your warrior one. Steady your gaze, drop your shoulders. Feel your strength. Take a really full inhale from the soles of your feet to the crown of your head. Exhale, float into warrior two. Pivoting your back foot parallel to the back of your mat. Gazing over your front fingertips, drop your shoulders. Breathe, breathe. With your inhale, extend, straighten your front knee. Let it go, and on your next breath in, sweep your left fingertips overhead. Lengthen, stretch through the side of your body. Exhale, flow back into warrior two. Really nice, take a big breath in. Exhale, windmill your palms to the floor, step your front foot back. Rest in plank or tabletop. Pulling your belly in and up, press the floor away. Exhale, down dog. We take one breath here. Gaze towards the top of your mat. You can walk, step, or hop your feet to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Drop your hips for chair. Arms where it is comfortable. Have a nice deep seat. Root down, inhale, rise up, mountain. Exhale, hands to your heart. You're doing amazing, stay with it. We're gonna revisit that same warrior flow and add a little bit of variation at the end. Enjoy, inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus. Let your breath move you and give you energy. Inhale, reach. And exhale, melt forward. With your inhale, look up, lift up, lengthen through your crown. Exhale, plant your palms, step back into plank. We hold, building total body strength for three. Start to fill up on your inhale, two. One, exhale, down dog. 
go breath to movement. Inhale, sweep your right heel high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot forward, anchor down through your back foot. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, flow into warrior two, pivoting your back foot parallel. Gaze over your front fingertips. Straighten your front knee. Inhale, drop your back fingertips, touch the ceiling, paint the ceiling with your fingertips. Big breath in. Exhale, we come to warrior two. And here is the variation for you, my friends. Again, we straighten, extend your front knee. Point your heels towards each other, toes pointing out. Inhale, reach your arms up for star pose. Lift your heart, shining bright just like a star. Big, full inhale. On your exhale, we come into horse. Bring your hands through your center. Bend your knees. Beautiful. Try to keep your weight towards the outer edges of your feet. Your modification, if you choose to take it, you can always straighten your knees a bit. Try to stay with it. Beautiful. Option one, you stay right here, breathe, building a lot of strength. Option two, pulse with me here for five, four, almost like you're sliding down an invisible glass wall. We got two and one, hold it. Ooh, breathe. Now we get to lift our left heel and pulse for five if you want to. We have five, four, hello, pressing into your palms, two, one lower. Yes, you can lift your opposite heel. Pulse for five, four, three, two, oh, one lower. Beautiful, one full breath here. You have got this. Inhale, burst back open, star pose, shine bright. Point both toes forward. Take another full breath in, open up, expand. Exhale, hinge forward, Ooh, dive forward. Beautiful, so we have a nice wide-legged forward fold. You might find pointing your toes slightly towards each other helps with your stability. Let your head hang heavy. If you need to find a little bit of bend in your knees, that is always okay. You can be still, press your fingers on the floor or reach for opposite elbows. Breathe here. This is like nectar for your brain. Enjoy the pause and that fresh blood flow and a new perspective, quite literally. You can come into a stillness if you have swayed a little bit left and right. Extend your wings to your sides, look up. And on the inhale, we rise up with a flat back. And imagine zippering through your thighs for stability. Inhale, reach, reach, reach overhead. And pivot on your heels to face forward. Step your back foot forward, hands to your heart, mountain pose. Beautiful, other side, here we go. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach, length and tall. Exhale, fold forward. Your inhale, lift up and rise up halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, step yourself into plank or tabletop. Beautiful, we hold for three. Fill up with your inhale from your heels to the crown of your head, two. One, exhale, hips lift to the sky. Let's move on the opposite side. Inhale, three-legged dog. Sweep your left heel to the ceiling. Exhale, plant your left foot between your palms. Drop your back heel. Inhale for warrior one. Settle in. Inhale, fill up once again. Exhale, floating into warrior two. Feel strong, steady, and focused. Beautiful. Extend 
in your front knee. Inhale, paint the ceiling with your left fingertips. Reach up, enjoy that side body stretch. Exhale, warrior two. Here we go on the other side, straightening again your left leg. Heels in, toes out. Inhale, reach up for star. Shine bright. <laughs> Exhale, horse pose. Sink down that invisible glass wall behind you, shoulders over your hips. And you can stay here, building tons of strength or pulse with me for five. We got this for three, two, and one. Hold it. Beautiful. Option to lift your left heel. And we pulse, you guessed it, for five, four, three, two, one, lower. Right into the other side. Here we go for five, four, yes, you can, you're so close. Two, one, lower. We'll hold for one full breath. Inhale, burst open, star pose. Point both toes forward. Inhale, open up, lift up. Exhale, melt, fold forward. Wide-legged forward fold. Hello, yogis. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Let your head be heavy. Give yourself credit for how far you have come already. You are still here, still breathing and moving. And that's beautiful. <laughs> Extend your wings to your side, look up. Inhale, lift up, rise up, flat spine, strong center. High five yourself overhead, you deserve it. Pivoting on your heels to face to the top of your mat. Step your back foot forward, hands to your center. And place one hand in your belly, one hand on your heart. Come back to your breath and your intention. Stay with it. Okay, my lovely friends, we're going to complete our standing series with some nice, relaxing, balancing poses. You can stay where you are, just adjusting myself to move with you. You can start by having your feet about hip distance apart. And take a moment to feel the mat beneath your feet. Feel literally grounded, anchored, and supported. Stay with that foundation. We'll begin with tree pose. On an inhale, sweep and scoop your arms overhead. Exhale, bringing your hands to your center. Anchoring in through the sole of your left foot. You can bring the sole of your right foot to your inner thigh. If that's too much, start by placing your sole of your right foot to your inner ankle. Toes can even be resting on your mat like a kickstand. Good, layer two, maybe bring it to your inner calf. If it feels okay, you can bring it to your inner thigh. Just trying to keep it above or below your knee. Nice, fix your gaze to one unmoving point in front of you. Really press through the big toe of your standing leg. Breathe. You're welcome to stay right here. You have the option as well to inhale as you grow your tree branches overhead. Maybe opening up your fingers like the leaves of a palm tree. And anchor in where you are or option to take a swaying palm. Anchoring in through your standing leg as you sway to one side, staying focused, grounded, and balanced. Breathe. Inhale, bring your branches back overhead. Exhale, softly bringing your hands through to your heart. And bring your knee back to center. 
lower, let it go, shake it out. Really nice. Do your other side. Take a full inhale, reach up, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. You take tree on your opposite side, anchoring into the sole of your opposite foot. Find the same position you had on your first side. Find that one unmoving point to fix your gaze and bring your hands to your center. You can even visualize roots growing into the earth, keeping you anchored, rooted, grounded, steady. Breathe. You can stay right where you are. If you'd like, inhale, throw your branches overhead, blooming your branches open. And stay still, rooted and anchored, or take swing, palm, this time to the other side. bring your branches back up to the sun. Slowly bring your knee to center. Start to lower your foot to the earth, hands to your heart. Come back to your breath. Really nice job. <laughs> Our next pose is dancers. Let's do it together. Take a big full breath in. And exhale, take your hands back home, back to your center. Relax your arms to your sides. Anchor in through the sole of your left foot. Kick your right heel behind you. Zipper your knees and thighs together. And reach for the inside arch of your lifted legs foot. Beautiful. Inhale as you start to sweep your left arm overhead. Take a full breath in. Exhale for dancer's pose. Really kick, kick, kick into your back foot. Steady gaze. Breathe. The more you kick, the more balance and stability you'll find. If you think you might fall, try kicking a little bit more. You got it for three. Two, one, inhale, come back with control, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Full breath here, we go to the other side. Inhale, breathe, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, drop your left elbow to your left hip crease. Kick your left heel behind you. Reach for the inner arch of your left foot. Zipper your thighs together. Exhale for dancer's pose. Friends, you can stay right here. Build up to it at your pace. Exhale. Kick, kick, kick into your back palm. Like a perfectly balanced seesaw. Breathe. It is okay to lose your balance. It's okay to fall. You just try again. For three, keep kicking, keep breathing. Two, one, inhale, reach. Arms overhead. Exhale, take everything back home. Take one full breath in. Exhale out any stale air, any doubts, any judgment. Let it go. We're going to find our way down to our mat for some core and some spine. Facing the top of your mat, come to mountain pose. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, reach to the sun. And exhale, drift your heart forward. 
inhale, lift, lengthen halfway. Exhale, bend your knees and come to a comfortable seat. Not too comfortable. <laughs> to have the soles of your feet planted, knees pointing to the sky. You can start by placing your hands behind your knees for some added support. Take a big full inhale, lengthen through your crown. And exhale, as you lower nice and slow, flat to your back. With an inhale, reach your arms with you overhead. Exhale, start to peel your fingertips forward, rounding through your chin. Lift with your core strength back up into modified boat pose. So you are here, you can keep both feet grounded, arms reaching forward, or you can certainly keep both hands behind your knees as you build up your core strength. If you're comfortable and familiar with both, feel free to start by lifting one set of toes, then the other, keeping your spine long. Maybe extend your fingertips in front of you. Feel that fire, feel that strength. Final layer, maybe extend both legs for full boat. Hello, <laughs> we got it, we hold for three. Two, one, you can slowly lower one bone, like the beads of a necklace, one bone, one bead at a time. With an inhale, extend through your fingers and your toes, fill up all the way up with your inhale. And on your exhale, use your core strength to lift yourself back into modified or full boat. Looking at your toes, lifting through your heart, Building strength and courage, hold it for three. Yes, you can, you are so close, it's okay to modify. Stay with it, two, one. Lower with control, so nice. Beautiful, if you want, you can take a few circles with your knees in one direction, and then the other, like you're stirring a big pot of oatmeal with your knees in opposite directions. Release any built up Tension from your low back. Breathe, breathe. All right, take a big breath in. Getting ready for the rest of our core strengthening series. Here we go. Bring the soles of your feet together. High five your feet. Let your knees open wide like you're opening up your favorite book. And interlace your fingertips behind your head or just have fingertips grazing the outer edges of your ears. Take a moment to really solidify, Velcro your low back into your mat. Try to keep it anchored there through the whole series. Take a full inhale. On your exhale, start to lift your head, neck, and shoulders off of the floor. Good, feel your belly really engaged, your low back pressing. Inhale here. Exhale. Here we go. Inhale, lower. On your exhale, crunch. Stay with it. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower. Elbows stay wide. Exhale, crunch. Moving at your pace with your breath. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. If you'd like, you can move more quickly. You can also move more slowly. Quality over quantity here. And if you are feeling extra feisty today and you want a bit more challenge, consider hovering your feet off the mat even just a millimeter. Stay with it. We are there in 10. Oh, I'm doing it with you. And I feel it. I hope you feel it too. We are building strength. Focus and stamina for three. So close. Two. And one to keep your arms where they are. Close your knees. Close that book. Reverse tabletop with your legs. Lift your head. Lift your neck. Lift your shoulders. Big full breath in. Extend your left leg long. Exhale, yogi bicycles. Left elbow to right knee. Inhale, take it all back to center. Exhale, switch sides. 
Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Ooh, here we go. Stay with it. It's okay to slow down. Try not to quit. Because when you're done, you're going to feel so great about it. You got it. I'm here with you. We just have 10. Ooh, breathe, breathe. See if you can end on the opposite side you start because we are almost there. We have three, two, and one. Oh, hello. Release to the mat. Rock it out side to side. Breathe. Really good. Take an inhale. Reach for your fingers, your toes. Lengthen, stretch, expand. You can bring your knees towards your chest, hands under your knees. We'll take about five rock and rolls here, eventually coming into a seat. You can keep your ankles crossed, plant your palms in front of you. Start to gently roll forward towards your knees. And make your way back into tabletop. For those of you still craving more fire, you are invited to come into plank. Take your variation. Whatever you choose, we hold and breathe. For three, two, and one. Either from plank or from tabletop. Take a full inhale. Exhale, lower with control. Resist that tempting urge to plop flat to your belly. Really nice. Tops of your feet can be flat here. Zipper your legs together. You can place your palms under your shoulders or just slightly below your shoulders towards your upper rib cage. Open mouth, exhale. Keep your feet super glued to the floor. With an inhale, lift through your heart and your chest, baby cobra. So this is great low back strengthener. Rather than pressing into your palms, let that strength come from your spine. See if you can hover your hands off of the floor. Beautiful. Inhale, lift a little bit taller. Exhale, lower. Let's take it again. We inhale, rise, lift up like a baby cobra. Float your palms, breathe. On your exhale, relax your arms to your sides. Drop one cheek to your mat. You can pause here in a mini shavasana or bend your knees and take a few windshield wipers left and right. Bring your wipers to a stillness and relax your feet to the floor. Bring your chin back to center. This time, extending your arms out to the sides, bending at your elbows, bringing them to 90 degrees. Exhale, empty out your lungs. And on an inhale, we take superhuman. Inhale, lift everything up. Balance on that fleshy part of your belly. You can gaze forward, maybe slightly up. Ooh, breathe. Opening up through your heart and chest. Exhale, lower. Drop your opposite cheek to the mat. Pause for a moment here. This time you can stay where you are, just extending your arms long to the sides, opening up your wings all the way. Bring your chin back to center. Exhale, let it all out right here. Inhale, superhuman, lift it all up. Spread your wings, fly, smile, and maybe be a little creative, have some fun. You can fly a little bit side to side, imagine flying over the clouds. <laughs> Strengthening your spine, opening your heart and chest. Let it feel really good. Inhale, lift a little taller, a little higher. Exhale, relax again, switching sides with your cheek. Pause and breathe. You can pump your fists, feel that fresh blood flow. 
And just to keep it balanced and consistent, one final time, alternating sides with your cheek. Breathe, breathe. Gently bringing your chin back to center. Things in for your legs together again. Place your palms under your shoulders. Curl your toes under. Take a full inhale. Exhale, keep your belly strong as you press up into tabletop. Swing your legs out to either side. We're gonna come back to a seat just for a moment here. And we start to wind it down. Take a big full inhale right here and exhale lower, nice and gently with control to your spine. It might feel nice to invite a full body stretch. And on your exhale again, planting the soles of your feet into your mat. You can take a moment with your hands by your sides, walk your heels into that point where you can graze them with the tip of your middle finger or pretty close to that point. So we'll take a reclined pigeon pose here. So starting with your right leg, bring your right knee to your center. Placing the outside of your right ankle to the top of your left knee. Try to keep your right foot flexed and active. It's gonna look a bit like a figure four shape. Beautiful, and you are here. If this is enough of a stretch, you can certainly stay right here. If you would like to take it a little bit deeper and intensify, that release in your hips, you can bring your left knee in towards your center. Beautiful, a couple options here with your hands. You can interlace your hands over your front knee or underneath your left knee and hug it in a little bit closer, pressing your right knee out with your right elbow. So we're not going for pain, just going for a sensation. Breathe, breathe. more full breath right here. Start to lower, soften your lifted leg to the floor. Keep your right leg where it is. Continue crossing your right knee over your left and bring your arms out wide to your sides or bending your elbows to 90 degrees. Take a big full belly inhale. And on your exhale, allow your knees to drape towards your left. You can gaze towards the sky or over your opposite shoulder. If this feels too much of a twist, your choice, your modification is to simply unwrap your top leg. So it is okay to modify. Breathe and enjoy the twist, the release. And we'll linger for about three full breaths here. Your next inhale, you can gently bring both knees back to center. Like your top leg was crossed, unwind. Take a full body stretch. Breathe a lot. With your out breath, re-cement the soles of your feet into your mat. And we'll take that same series on your opposite side. Left knee comes in towards your chest, outside of your left ankle to the top of your right knee. Find that figure four. You can stay here or take that same variation you took on your first side. You find balance and consistency. If you are breathing, you are here. Enjoy. In these pauses, you can come back to your intention. And give yourself gratitude for choosing to be here. Slowly lower your right foot to the mat and continue crossing your left knee over your right. Extend your arms to the sides or bending at 90 degrees. Full belly breath in. 
exhale, allowing your knees to this time drape to your right. It's okay to scooch your hips a little bit to the left. And place your right palm on the outside of your top knee if you like. Gazing where it feels best for your neck. Breathe. Feel that rise and fall of your belly. Notice your heartbeat. And with your next inhale, gently coming back to center, unwinding your top knee. Take a nice full body breath. Inhale, reach through your fingers and your toes. You can even imagine reaching, picking for apples. <laughs> As if you're picking for apples, reaching through one arm then the other. Finding stretch and length in the sides of your body. Breathe. take another really full belly breath in. On your exhale, you can gently bring your knees towards your chest, forehead towards your knees. You can reach for your knees or reach for your forearms or even your elbows. Hold your inhale at the top. And with your exhale, allow everything, your whole self to melt like an ice cube melting in the sun. Melt into your mat, into the floor for your final relaxation, for Shavasana. You can allow your toes to relax to your sides. Soften everything from your ankles to your belly, your forehead. You also have the option to place one hand on your belly, one hand over your heart. Let the music wash over you, breathe and enjoy. Sending gratitude to yourself. Maybe even taking a moment to send out some kind thoughts to someone that you care about. And you are welcome to stay here as long as you like. support your head like a pillow. Just pause and savor that sense of peace that you created. And know you can always come back to this space. And can gently make your way to a comfortable seated position. Eyes still closed and hands at your center. invite you to release your fingertips to your mat. Take a full inhale, reaching your arms overhead. And with your out breath, bringing your hands back to your heart. My friends, the light in me sees the light in you. I'm so happy you are here. I hope to see you very soon. <laughs> Namaste. Beautiful job, everybody. Thank you.